YouTube, this video is going to be on cleaning the wheels of your vehicle. Now, if you look at my channel, I did one recently. I'm not going to mention the name that starts with an M, but I've done a whole bunch of videos on how to clean your wheels, and nothing ever works. I've tried vinegar, um, apple cider vinegar, some of the uh, M products that are supposed to be very good, and they're kind of expensive, and they're supposed to clean. None of that stuff worked. Um, I've used... Uh, Gosh, I can't remember that other thing you get in the store. I've just used everything, 409. I never get the brake dust off, ever, 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 ever. I get some of the wheel clean, but even with scrubbing, I've got brake dust and pitting all over the place. And the one thing I've noticed in my uh, videos, every time I do them, I get comments asking me if I've tried this product called Brown Royal. And so you can see it over here, Flash Brown Royal. It's supposed to be some type of... Uh, chemical that is non-acidic it will not damage anything you can even put it on paint but it's supposed to be very effective and I've seen a lot of videos uh, where the product seems to work so what I'm going to do is I'm going to try it on this uh, wheel now you're supposed to mix it in uh, like a, a one to eight water one part of what what is it? I think it's uh, one part of the solution to uh, eight parts of water. It's a 1-4 or 1-2. I'm not sure how much I'm going to dilute this. I just want to do a test right now on this wheel and see if this product works because everybody says it works. And I've seen some videos and it's amazing. So uh, stick along with me. And if you like my videos, thumbs up, please. Subscribe, do a like. If you want to leave a donation, ask for my PayPal info. And I'm going to do a zoom in right now. You can see this thing is absolutely filthy. This was cleaned not more than six months ago. Cleaned only to a limit because I cannot get the brake dust off, especially when I start getting into where the wheel lock is and these little uh, dealy bot metal pieces over there. And I can't get into the fins of here. So supposedly all you do is you spray the solution on, leave it on here for a few minutes, and the... the uh, brake dust is just supposed to melt off and it says you don't even need to do scrubbing you just use high pressure water to uh, remove the dirt most of us don't have a high pressure system and to set one of those up just to do this would be a lot of work so I'm just going to use a regular hose I do have a little scrub brush I might test it out and see if it helps cleaning this uh, wheel a little bit but I'll decide that later on so um, you can buy this stuff. It's very hard to find. You can buy it in, I believe, a 24-ounce bottle. But I figured I've spent so much money on cleaning solutions. I've wasted a ton of money. And the total is well over $50. And nothing's ever worked. So I went online and I bought this thing. I think it was like $29 and $6 shipping. To me, it's worth it. If it works and it saves me time and it makes this car look good, then it's worth the money and it will save me an enormous amount of time and effort over the long run. So let's check this out now and see what happens. This again is a one gallon bottle for $35 total, I think, $36 with tax and shipping. Here goes the test. I've got about a one to one solution. I think they say use one to two for the wheels, but I'm gonna test this guy out now and we'll see if it works. It's kind of windy here. Now, let me shake this up a little, and we'll see if it really works. We'll see. Wow. Now, it's a brown solution, so when you're looking at this, and you think that something's actually happening, maybe nothing really is, use a good spray bottle. This spray bottle is not the greatest, and you don't want to waste this stuff. But, again, it's a brown solution, so if you think you're actually accomplishing something, you might not be. You're just seeing the brown solution. This is, if this works, then believe me, this is an amazing product um, because absolutely nothing has worked so far. So we're going to watch it run down 16 minutes after right now. Um, it's got an unusual smell, kind of like a, an auto shop smell. I don't want to say metallic. I'm going to keep this on. I want you to be able to see what this is doing. 
almost smells like, uh, I don't know if it's barbecued beef or barbecued something. Again, they say you don't need to scrub. I brought a scrub brush out, I just don't know where I put it. All right, we're at 417 right now. I do have my scrub brush, but I'm gonna wait and let this product do what it's supposed to do. And we'll see what happens. The sun is kind of drying it off. It says that they want you to use this on a cool surface, not a hot surface. And I've been driving, so it looks like it's evaporating, but maybe it isn't. Maybe it's just working. Maybe it's dissolving. I don't. I can't really say that the dirt is running off. There we go. A lot of the videos have really shiny silver type hubcaps and you don't even see any silver over here so it's really hard to notice the dirt running off. It almost looks like it's drying on the car right now instead of running off. Um, it's been on for two minutes. I'm going to use the scrub brush even though they say you don't need to and I just want to see what, what it looks like because it looks like everything is drying right now. I don't... I don't even know if this is worth. To me, it look, doesn't look like it's done anything. Wow. Now, this is incredible. I'm really surprised because I was expecting major things with this. And it just doesn't look like anything's happening. I'm kind of disappointed. But I've seen the video, so supposedly this stuff is supposed to do something. Um, let me get the water out here, and I'm going to hose it down now, and we'll see. Here's the water. Let's see if it does anything. I don't want to ruin my camera. Eh? Whoa, look at this. This is pretty neat. Completely unlike the other videos where they put this stuff on there and it, every all the dirt came off. All the dirt didn't come off with this. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to finish off this video in a little bit. Yeah, I was really expecting incredible results like all the other videos. Let me do a little scrubbing here right now. So this is probably the most honest video on YouTube so far because like I said, all the other videos show amazing results like this. You see over here? You see how clean that is? That's what the other videos show. You put the stuff on, and within seconds, all the dirt is gone. Well, within seconds on this, all the dirt wasn't gone. There's still dirt inside the, the uh, lug nut area. There's dirt around the rim, but I do have better results than I have seen before. So I'm going to do a few more applications of this. And I mean, there, there are results. I'm using the brush right now, which they say you don't need to. And as I do that, I'm seeing some of the dirt come off. But... It is not like all the other videos that are posted on, on uh, YouTube showing how everything comes off immediately because it didn't. And again, you're not supposed to need to use this scrub brush at all. It's just supposed to melt off. So I'll continue the video in a while um, and update you on the results and what it took to get all of this brake dust off. This is probably uh, 10, 15, 20 years worth of brake dust even though I've done cleaning during that time. Here we go. Time to finish this job off. The results after the first try. It says do not let this stuff dry. It probably melts into a really bad uh, chemical that damages the metal, I would assume, or it just is difficult to take off. But uh, this is the first spray. I see... I see some silver, but I see an incredible amount of brake dust that is just caked on here, all over the place. So. Um, I've got four other wheels that I'm going to be doing. And I'm going to finish this guy off. In fact, what I'm going to do, let me show you the last wheel. We've got a wheel that's not so bad. So that's what I'm going to try now. I'm going to try this guy and see if it's warm. It's not warm. I'm going to spray this stuff on here. I'm 
glad that I bought a, a gallon bottle because I might need it. That's what it looks like on the ground, nice and brown. Again, it said don't let it dry, so I'm going to get my scrub brush. In this case, I really need a sponge, but I believe this is going to be a lot easier to clean because it doesn't have most of the brake dust. These were back wheels. These are back wheels. And they're going to clean a lot easier. So I'm going to get back with you and the other back wheel, which doesn't really have much dirt. And I'm going to be uh, finishing that one. This is the right front wheel, and this is just as bad as the first one, which has all the brake dust on it. So, rather than make this a two-hour video, again, if you like my videos, thumbs up, subscribe, and a like. And if you want to donate, ask for my PayPal info. And I will finish this up showing you all four wheels and what it took to do them. It's finished, so let me show you what's going on here. This is the first wheel that I did. Now, I always question when I watch uh, YouTube videos because I wonder if it's really honest or uh, up front. This is honest and up front. This is three applications of the product. Um, one of them was a one-to-one -one straight out of the bottle. The second one was a one-to-one -one straight out of the bottle. And the third was a one-to-two with uh, about, uh, well, really a one-to-one. 50% -one. water, 50% product, and the other two are just uh, the solution straight out of the bottle. Now, I've watched all those videos and I am very amazed with them. They spray this solution on there, talking about the car hasn't been cleaned in 10 years and all the brake dust comes off. This car has been cleaned, but probably not 100% perfect over those years. And with the one-to-one, -one, this is the result. A lot of scrubbing with the sponge, a scouring sponge. Um, I use the high pressure water. High pressure water is not going to matter though. If, uh, if, the salute, if the brake dust isn't coming off, then it doesn't matter how much high pressure water you put on there. So I think you can see there is still an incredible amount of brake dust on there. Now I've talked to people who do this for a living in reselling autos and working at rental places. And when it gets this bad, what they end up doing is they take the wheel off, they dip it into an acid solution to burn all this stuff off, and then they repaint the wheels. So the commercial, I'm not going to say it's a bad product. I'm definitely not going to say that because it's the best that I've found. But if your wheels are like mine, don't expect 100% clean like uh, you see over here. This is definitely not 100%. These have been the front tires, the front wheels for most of the life of the car except for some rotation and I cannot get this dirt off. I'm assuming that if I took the wheels off and I really got in there and scrubbed with a wire brush I could break this out of some of the pores of the metal. But that's an honest uh, review right there. Let me go to the second wheel at the back. The second wheel that I showed you originally and there's dirt down by the, the valve stem over there. I couldn't get that out. And you would think that I'd be able to get the dirt out inside the lug nut. That's just plastic. That should take that stuff off. I couldn't get the sponge in there, but they say you shouldn't even have to scrub. You should just be able to put water in there. So it did not do 100%. It did what it was supposed to do. It, it did better than anything else. So I'm not going to blame the product for that, but again, don't expect that this is going to be 100% perfect because obviously it isn't. Let's go to the third wheel in the back. Not as much sunlight here. Third wheel in the back, right at the uh, ridges over there. You can see there's a lot of dirt in there. I couldn't get the sponge in there. I couldn't get the scrub brush in there, but according to the videos online and the instructions, you shouldn't have to. Just be able to apply the product and hose it off and Again, this wheel had straight solution, another application straight solution, another application half solution, half water. It did clean most of the wheel, but there are an enormous amount of areas in this wheel that still have a ton of dirt. Got the other front wheel. This was just as bad as the first one.
and I don't know if it cleaned up as well. I can see some silver, some metallic uh, color. You can see inside the wheel uh, in the lug nut compartment, there's dirt in there and there shouldn't be. I sprayed that solution in there. It should just come off because it's brake dust or dirt and it's on plastic. But it didn't take that off. And again, around the ridges over there, there is a ton of dirt that did not come off. And that's why people watch my channel, because they get honest, honest reviews. And I'm not getting paid to do them. So does the product work? Um, yeah, it works. Is it a miracle product? Absolutely not. If you have uh, new wheels, it's probably going to do an excellent job of cleaning them. If you've got wheels like mine that are original wheels, maybe 27 years old on the car, then this is probably what you're going to get. These are front wheels, lots of brake dust, and the wheel looks better than it has ever been since it was bought. But you look right over there. That is definitely not like any, any of the videos that are posted here showing that this stuff removes all of the brake dust. So you really have to wonder why they made those videos. If you like my videos, do a thumbs up, a subscribe, and a like. I think the product is worth the $36 for the gallon. Because at least the wheels look better, but they... <laughs> the car is going to look better when I'm driving down the street, but look at that. There's still a huge amount of dirt on there. So, yeah, it's worth buying, but don't expect it to do a 100% clean job because chances are it is not going to. But as far as what's available on the market so far, unless you're going to dip it in an acid bath, this might be the best that you are going to find out there. Unless you want to go in there and sand it down and paint it. Good luck. Leave comments and feel free to share.